Hello everybody, welcome to Overland. This is a upcoming survival turn-based combat game. <laughs> I guess that's the best way to describe it. It's being developed by Finji. And this morning they actually had 500 copies on sale available for purchase for some of their website subscribers. So I was able to pick one up and I'm really excited because I've been following this game since probably last October. And I've been really looking forward to it. It seems like a really interesting and unique take on this sort of a survival genre. So basically, it's a post-apocalyptic uh, road trip across the uh, U.S. And we're going to do an introduction and just jump right in to show you guys uh, the sort of combat and function of the game. So this is the game. The entire game takes place on these little small chunks of cities, of grasslands. Basically, always surrounded by road because you do travel by car. And it's randomly generated for every single one, so you're never going to see the same tile twice. Except for the starting area seems to be the same, because I recognize this, but the people are different. So this is our main character, Leslie. Sort of a low-poly uh, kind of art style. And we have another person here, and so you can see the standard kind of turn-based combats, or turn-based movement thing. So we're going to head over here, and we're going to invite Jill to join us. Hi, I'm Lessie. I'm not Leslie, Lessie. That's right. So now we can control Jill. We're going to move her over and have her search this car. I actually found some gas. Good, good, good. Uh, we currently can't move anymore, so we're going to go ahead and end the turn. Since there aren't any enemies in this area, it just automatically lets us start going. But don't worry, they are showing up. We're going to move her over to the car. and the turn. Come on over to this car. We're going to fill it up. Add some gas. Uh, we're going to bring her over. First, we're going to search this. She found some gas. Very good. And the turn. And we're going to pull this out just so the car can actually get out. Bring her over to grab this gas. And you notice at the end of that turn, something did happen. Uh, something, something's coming up from the ground. We're going to have her pick up that gas can. And can't move anymore. We can move over here. And the turn. Oh, okay. The hole's getting a little bigger. Something to worry about. Uh, I shouldn't have done that, so I'm actually going to undo that. I don't know if it lets you undo a turn for the entire game or just for these sort of introductory sections, but it is really useful for me right now. Oh, and there we go. That's our first look at the enemy. I'm not sure if they're aliens or kind of like demon things. You can't really move with the camera too much. You can see them up there in the top right. That's, that's one of the smaller base enemies, but we're just going to try and avoid them. They do only move one square every turn, so that does give us a little bit of opportunity to outmaneuver them because... We can move a lot more than that. Except in some cases where we get injured, you kind of can't. Right, and the turn. So you watch this. So that happens. Uh, once the enemies are on the map, they kind of... We kind of send out this, like, radiance. Like, I don't know if that's them detecting us or what. Oh, wait. Leslie is already in the driver's seat. So we're going to turn it on. And we're going to pick which one of these roads we want to escape in. So we're just going to go down here. And escape this area. And from there, we'll travel. Time will pass. And it'll bring us to a new area. So there you go. Now we're headed into the woodlands. So it is kind of a trip across the states. I believe we are headed for the west coast. So from here, this is sort of the nightly campsite. Uh, we can see our percentage through the woodlands. You can also see our total distance traveled. Uh, here we have a choice. So we currently have 18 units of fuel. So we can either send, spend three of them to go over to Sharon Springs, where there should be a fresh car, close to the road, and high risk. Or we can spend six... Uh, because uh, to go to Corinth, someone is stranded, but it's a short drive and it's safe. Uh, we're going to go to Corinth just because we our, our car is still in decent shape, so we don't really need a new one yet. Yep, so we're going to head up to Corinth and drive on there. That's going to take, was it, six of our fuel points, so we're down to 12. Pretty decent start. All right, so this is the new area. Uh, it said someone is in danger. There is a dog. Can we have the dog come with us? We do have an empty seat in the car. Oh, and the car does have a medical pack, so you can switch your inventory just like that. It doesn't waste any uh, movement points or anything. We do have one enemy. And there's a dog and two cars to search. So we're going to step on out. Uh, Jill, you want to come here? Woof. Oh, there's a bougie. All right, we're going to have her grab the stick because it can be used as a weapon. Oh, no, did not mean to do that. Come over here. And we're going to switch over to Lessie. We'll have her get out and grab the stick. There you go. Come over here and end our turn. Oof. Oh, even the dog has a stick. Yay. Let's see, can we actually invite the dog to our group? <gasps> we'll call you Tato. Tato? Tato? Alright, we'll call him Tato. Uh, Jill, head over to this car. Uh, you'll search this one. Or Lessie, sorry. Uh, another branch they found. We already have one, so oh well. 
And we found an old bottle. Um, I guess we'll take the old bottle. Since we already have one person with a stick. And do we control the dog? We do control the dog. Awesome. Okay, uh, there's nothing much else to search here. So we're gonna head in. Let's see, can the dog drive the car? That'd be funny. I uh, can't currently move, so let's end the turn. I'm just gonna move one over. Dog, go ahead and get in. <laughs> That's really funny looking. Oh, you can throw it. Okay. So yeah, if we chuck it, so it's kind of a long distance weapon. Very cool. Alright, let's see, go ahead and head back. They're tracking the sounds. Yep, so that's the danger. Anytime you make any sort of sound like that, uh, they will emerge. Which is weird, because they don't, I guess they don't hear the sounds of the vehicles? You think that would be something they would hear very easily, but... I don't know. Okay, uh, she cannot get in. Nope, so we gotta end the turn. And now enter. There we go, car's all packed up. <laughs> Look at the puppy, he's got a stick. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, she does have CPR training. Very cool. Tato. Oh, what a good puppy. Alright, um, let's go ahead and set the car. And get on out. Ooh. Ooh. That was not a good sound when I just drove over that stick. So that might be a bad thing. Oh, what a good puppy. He loves his stick. Look at them all. We've got their weapons. Alright, so we can go to Cincinnati. I use for items here. Use for items here. Okay, so they both cost six. So do we want to go to Cincinnati or Key West? Key West is in Florida, right? Cincinnati is in Ohio. Do I want to go to Ohio or Florida? Hmm, let's go to... Last time we went up, so this time we'll go down. How about that? We'll go to Key West. Go ahead and spend six of our fuel points there. That'll take us down to six. So hopefully we'll be able to find some fuel here. Oh, we got another puppy. I can't take another puppy. Can I, like, kill off one of... Can I just have just animals? That'd be great. If I could, like, leave the humans behind and just command the animals. That'd be awesome. Alright, there's one car over here. We'll go ahead and send Lassie over there. Then we'll grab Jill, send her over here. Um, can Tato search vehicles? I don't even know, but just to, just to check, we'll bring him over here. Woof woof. Oh, there's another puppy. I don't, want, I don't want to leave the other puppy. That makes me sad. Invite. Is he gonna let me? He farts. Ew. <laughs> Chaz. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Chaz. That's um. They can search. Holy crap. These are smart dogs. You found a bit of medicine. Awesome. Yeah, so Chaz was a nickname my brother used to call me. Only because my brother used to coach my soccer team. And he'd always call me Chaz for some reason. Steel pipe. Awesome. That sounds way better than a stick. Even though that's like not my name or anything. I don't know why he found it. Cleaver. Knife. Awesome. Way better. Um, <laughs> Let's take the dogs with us. <laughs> Should we leave one of the humans behind? I think that'd be pretty funny. Okay, end the turn. Okay, puppies. Get on in. Tato. Chaz. Oh, no you don't. Oh, no you don't, you stupid alien. Alright. <laughs> uh, let's bring you back over. So we only have three spots in the car. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna leave one of the humans behind. Let's see, Lessie or Jill. She does have CBR training. She can revive survivors. Hmm. Alright. Let's see. Let's go fight those aliens. Chaz, get in. <laughs> I wonder if at any point you can have three dogs <laughs> and they somehow drive the car. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Um. Huh? Oh, no. Because only humans can start the cars. Dang it. Alright. Uh, let's end the turn. <laughs> Bye. Oh, we just left it. To <laughs> she said, no, come back. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. My bad. <laughs> Alright, look at the our good little puppies. Okay, uh, someone stranded. Useful. We'll go you do useful items. We're going to spend all of our fuel to get there, so we really hope that there is fuel there, because otherwise we're kind of screwed. Okay. We got one alien, or one creature, sorry. Let's go ahead and search. Uh, it's a heavy knife. I'm gonna marry up. Don't need a knife. Uh, Tato, you go ahead and check this car. Oof! A steel pipe. Eh, I think the knife's better. Alright, go ahead and end that turn. Tato, you wanna go check this out? Uh, on your next turn. Let's see, what can she do? 
Yeah, we're screwed if there's no if there isn't fuel in here, because then we can't move, right? Come on, please be fuel. It's just, what is this? I think it's just like a toolkit. Well, does this mean we lose? Because we don't have any fuel? No, I'm really confused. Um, let's just have her end the turn. So then she can kill him. Teto, go ahead and get in. Have you get in as well, Jill? Yeah, so... Did we just lose? That's what I'm confused about. Let's see, can we like use this campfire for anything? Let's go try that. Um, Do we just go on foot? Maybe we can do that. So if we go to the edge... Uh, I think we need to bring all of them to the edge. Teto. Come on over. Chaz. Chaz, you can't you can't drive the car, Chaz. <laughs> You're just a puppy. Okay, now we can escape. Okay, so yeah, it looks like we're ditching the car and going on foot. That seems slightly more dangerous. Oh man. That's a lot of goobers. Okay, let's have you go up here, search the car. Okay, you found, uh, that is like armor or something that you can put on cars. Doesn't really affect us right now. Let's fall back, Chaz. And the turn. That guy's gonna move there. Okay, we should be able to kill him. Kill! Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Um. Can you search this car? Let me find more first aid. Okay, let's, we're gonna have you fall back. Okay, when... Chaz, have you fall back more. I probably should have him grab that stick. So we'll be able to take out these guys. What? What do you mean you can't kill that guy? I kill that one, yeah. Tado, can you kill this one? Oh, can dogs not kill people? Oh, no. Ow. Oh. Okay, well, we I think we might just... We might have just lost. Because <laughs> uh, humans can't attack when they're injured like that. At least I don't think so. She has a rock. Oh, so you kind of throw the rocks at people. Uh, but there she's she's down. Oh, there's actually there's a car right here. Crap! Why didn't we go for that? I did not even notice that. I feel really really stupid. <laughs> I don't think the dog seemed right. We can play without a human though, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Poochies, let's go ahead and uh, let's search that. Found bottles. Okay, since dogs can't actually. Attack. We'll just take this gas with us. We can't siphon from the car now. Okay, uh, let's end the turn. And escape. Okay, so when you don't have a car, you can't actually choose your destinations. It looks like it just forces you to go one by one. Okay, there's a person over there. Um, but he's gonna die. <laughs> Tato. Or Chaz. No. Wait, there's a car right there. Dude, dude, no! Don't you kill my dog, you bastard! Oh, uh, Chaz! Chaz, no! Tato, can we go uh, invite this guy? I'm Harold, thanks for the help. No problem, Harold. Invite. Crap, oh, Harold's gonna get smacked. Harold's gonna get bitten. Harold! No! Oh, uh, yes, we do have a med kit. Chaz, get over here. Invite Harold. Okay. Uh, enter. Puppy. No, 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 no. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna hit him. And there's, there's a repair kit on this car. There's not a med kit. No. Okay, let's, maybe we can drive over there and pick him up. So you get in. Uh, hey, I'll turn it on. 
Let's drive over here. Pull in. Okay, in the turn, no one should be able to hit him. <gasps> uh. Ram. No, don't ram him. I get in, Poochie. Okay. Uh, Harold. Let's go ahead and escape. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> that got... That was intense. Barely made it out of there. We do have one med kit. Uh, I don't want to be rude. We should probably use it on the on the person. High, oh, these are all high risk. Fuel cash. Okay. Yeah, we only have two fuel points after this. Oh, man. Okay, just a little goobers. That's not bad. Uh, does one of them have, have a stick? Okay, Harold, you come out here, bud. Actually, no. Damn it. Let's, let's, let's undo that. Uh, Harold. How do we use this? How do I... Oh, there we go. Heal. Okay, heal Harold up. There we go. Ooh, he's, he's almost going to be energetic when we unlock that, so we'll have one extra action. Nice. Okay, let's, gra let's go over here. We're going to have you grab the stick. Uh, Tato has gas. So let's leave that in the car. Uh, I might just leave the dogs in the car for now. Oh, so he should be able to handle himself. Let's grab the stick. Uh, we're gonna wanna... Let's head this way, so we'll try and search the car. Let's see, these guys should move over here. So Harold, go there. Kill. Okay, and turn, so he's gonna move there. Then we'll go here, search the car. We've got some fuel. Perfect. Let's end that. So he's going to move one more before he can attack. Harold, let's go ahead and fill that up. Grab the stick. Head over here. So now this guy's going to move here. We should be able to kill him. Kill. There we go. Oh, his stick broke. Okay, let's grab that. And the turn. And we should be able to get over to the car and escape. Yes. Perfect. Okay, let's start it up. And... Oh, damn it. There's not enough fuel. Okay, let's turn it off. Harold, in your turn. What does it do? Does it just attack our car? Oh, it does. Okay, so fill it up. Start her up. And escape. Whew, man. Okay. Made it out of that one. Okay, end of the road. It's a Cheswick. We have ten. Oh, no, that's just my... That just my oh, it's the end of the Woodlands Road. Okay, so right up there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm... Bad, 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 bad. I figured it out. We're good to go. Okay, oh, we gotta move these things. Crap, they're on the road because we can't drive around them. Uh, no, Chad shouldn't have it. Harold, you should have that. You can fill it up from the inside. Let's have you get out. Yeah, so maybe it's not the best thing to have a bunch of dogs with you. <laughs> uh, let's search this. Oh, he's a stone. Okay. Um, That guy, I don't know if they can move diagonally. So let's, let's kill that one. <laughs> he might have to move around the car. There's a lot of fuel over there. Dang it. Okay, oh, both of our doggies are hurt. I just don't want to use them. Teto. Or Chaz accidentally. Oops. Meant to, uh, let's undo that. Tato, I want you. You'll go search this for me. Ah, he's too injured. He can't. Oh, cr Oh, no! Oh, the car's on fire. Chaz! Get out! Oh, guys, this isn't looking good. Oh! Not no, Chaz died! Ah, I really should have played games where dogs can die. Oh, man. Okay, let's push that. Oh, it was loud. Come on, buddy. Gotta get out of here. Oh, no. Because now they can both just move like one. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not feeling this. 
Here comes more. Here comes more. Oh, there's more big ones. Oh, good god. Oh, poor Chaz. Not Chaz. Shadow. Oh no. He can't move anywhere. He's just gonna be attacked. Did you kill my dog, you bastard? Oh! <laughs> Run, Harold! Oh, why did I move there? Okay, let's not do that. Let's move that. <laughs> Harold. Oh, you're screwed, buddy. You are so screwed. Technically, he should be able to make it to the next area. Escape! Oh, alright, so both my dogs died. That's depressing, I guess. A day three, out of gas, out of everything. Here's a stick, though. Not a lot of good that'll do, because we can't actually attack people. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's go out in a blaze of glory. Right down Main Street. <laughs> Ooh, there's actually a car right there. Um... I don't really see our our range is so limited. I don't really see a way we can sneak we can get around these guys. Oh yeah, we're gonna this is it. This is where we die. This is where it all comes to comes to pass. That that's Harold. Harold perishes. Dang it! I'm more upset about the dogs, honestly. <laughs> or the two women that died or the woman, the woman we left behind to die. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's a relatively decent game. Really early access, so they're hopefully going to be adding more content. I think the game has a great potential to be the sort of game that uh, really excels in sort of a storytelling aspect. Where we actually start to get attached. Like, I already felt like I was getting attached to the people and the dogs. Well, maybe not the people, but more the dogs. Uh, mechanics seem really cool. I like the interesting sort of gameplay uh, design that they're going for. With the sort of the single chunks of the world that you're usually going through. But I think it should be interesting. Uh, leave a like if you guys did enjoy and want to see more overland in the future. I'll probably be checking it out intermittently as more things get added. I probably won't be doing a series, but I could definitely see myself streaming it from time to time. Yeah, so leave a like, comment, etc. I'll see you next time. Bye.